The time for public comment has almost run out on a proposed rule from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, a rule that would ban smoking in all of the nation's public housing units. In Oklahoma, 15 local housing authorities have already put in force smoking bans that vary on whether where their tenants can use tobacco. But now the state's largest public housing authority is just weeks away from putting its own tobacco plan in place. There are more than 15,000 people living in public housing in Oklahoma City, and up until now, tobacco use has been allowed. March 1st, that will change, as the Oklahoma City Housing Authority implements its own all-out ban on tobacco. Executive Director Mark Gillette. No tobacco use in the unit, no tobacco use in the common area, um, and no tobacco use on the property. So you actually must leave the property in order to consume tobacco. Nationally, since November, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development has been asking the public for its opinion on the tobacco ban nationwide. And January 19th is the deadline for those comments to end. This effort would improve indoor air quality for more than two million public housing residents nationwide. That includes 760,000 children, as well as nearly 330,000 senior citizens. HUD Secretary Julian Castro also expects a big savings to taxpayers from the smoking ban. And save nearly $153 million each year because of lower costs for health care and avoided costs to repair buildings damaged by smoking-related fires. But safety and health aside, Mark Gillette has gotten an earful from some tenants about the idea of banning tobacco. There are uh, um, those tenants who have come to us and say, I'm going to quit now. You know, I always needed that extra push to quit. I'm going to quit. Uh, and then there have been those tenants that come to us and say, I'm moving out right now. We talked with several public housing tenants at different locations, and while they would not talk on camera, they did express similar views as those heard by Gillette. For Joy Hamilton, who has lived in the Danforth Senior Center for 13 years, she'll be happy for the smell of tobacco to come to an end. Well, I think it's wonderful. I think it'd be good for everybody to, to quit. I think it'd be good. Joy says for people who decide to leave, they may discover that many private rental properties now no longer allow smoking either. Uh, yeah, it's basically that way everywhere. <laughs> Housing boss Mark Gillette knows the toughest part of the tobacco ban will be enforcing it. Well, that's going to be, be the trick. Um, self-enforcement, uh, residents helping us with that. The Housing Authority has 16 apartment complexes and 600 plus other sites that include houses. Residents who decide to quit tobacco will get materials from the City County Health Department and help from TSET with nicotine replacements for those who want to quit. For those who don't... And we're sorry about that, but uh, um, the next individual is ready to move right into their apartment. No one will be evicted upon being caught breaking the rule the first time. And Gillette knows March will be an interesting month. There will be some ripples, some frustrations, but together we'll work it out.